What's up, y'all? It's John the Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. For some reason, I want to share this with y'all. For some reason, this, uh, there's a Backstreet Boys song stuck in my head. The song Everybody. I don't know why, but it's stuck in my head, man. Maybe that'll be the melody that I think is, this song's gonna sound like. I don't know, but yeah, it's stuck in my head. I think it's because of a, a TikTok trend or something. Anyway, we're not here for that. We're here to do reactions. But before that, I wanna remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House. Go to thelaughhouse.se and check out what we got going on there. You can also check out one of my podcasts. All the information about me and what I have going on is at my website, bashdaddyentertainment.com. You can see dates I have coming up and all that good stuff. So let's get to it. Today's reaction is to a song called Sont et Leave It. It's by Anita Lindblom and I'm really looking forward to it. A little bit about the song, it was released in 1961 as a single. The song is a translation from a hit American song by Roy Hamilton, whom I've never heard of, and it's called You Can Have Her, You Can Have Her and Sont et Leave It. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to check out the original song to see uh, how they did the translation. Anita Lindblom's version was a hit, peaking at number one in both Swedish and Norwegian charts, and it even charted in Finland. So it's a Scandinavian hit song we're doing here. The song was certified gold here in Sweden, so that's good. Fun fact, Anita Lindblom recorded this song in Swedish, German, and English. I'm interested in the English one, how close it is to Roy Hamilton's version which I haven't heard, but I think I'm gonna have to check both of those out. Between 1965 and 1972, which is a relatively short amount of time, Anita Lindblom had 27 songs that charted here in Sweden. Wow. She was a favorite uh, amongst the celebrity gossip media here, partially because she was married to a famous Swedish middleweight boxer named Bosse Högberg, and apparently it was a short yet tumultuous marriage that they had. And uh, the end of their marriage was in France. They left Sweden, went to France, and then divorced. And they also left here with tax debt or something like that. Like, they were being chased by the tax man. And I've heard about that. You don't want to get messed up with the tax man. I am terrified of it. As I read that story, I got so intrigued, and I was wondering, why is there not a movie about this? And it turns out they were trying to make a movie about it. It never happened, but... Uh, Ola Rapaz was supposed to be in the movie about uh, this couple. I hope they continue at some point and make this movie. Anita never moved back to Sweden. She actually died in France and then her body was brought back here. So she's buried here, but she lived in France for the rest of her life. But her music lives on, as I like to say, so I'm happy that I get to check it out. I'm gonna guess that the song goes, Sont et livet. No, no, no. Sont et livet. Sante, no, 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 no. Sante, leave it. Sante, leave it. Sante, leave it. That's my guess. <laughs> but I'll find out now how close I am. I was really close on the last song, so maybe I nailed it even more this time. We'll see. I got the lyrics here so I can read along as I listen. And here we go. Sante, leave it by Anita Lindblom. Sånt är livet, sånt är livet, så mycket falskhet Både här, den man förlorar, vinner en annan Så har vi vänner som du har kär Han kom om våran, så om en våring, min kärlek fick han I love the deepness of the voice. This is a really nice touch that I did not expect. This is like the Patricia Isakson or something. <laughs> Cousin of Pierre. I like it. I like this. I like it, man. It's almost an Elvis feel to it, too. Man. Han 
fick en annan Jag har sett dem Han verkar lycklig Och hon är ung Det jag har lärt mig Är just detta När hjärtat svider På hundrat sjön I love the like the the gospel feel to it with the choir, even though they sound a little muted. But may, maybe that's just how it could record back then. But uh, I, I do like that gospel sound and then the the kind of upbeat and then the the heavy, deep voice. It's all a really nice mix. <laughs> So that was Sont et Leave It. I really like that song. I like the uh, how it all came full circle too. Like how she, her guy was taken uh, from her for some younger, prettier woman. And then all of a sudden she's taking some guy from some woman later on. Um, and it's, it's like the circle of life, kind of, <laughs> in a relationship sense. I like it. I didn't know that they created the theme of The Lion King. A mind blown. <laughs> it makes me want to check out the original, this Hamilton guy and his song, and hear how she was inspired and how much it was similar to the theme of the original song, or was it just a whole different twist on it? Really curious about that. Another part that I like that I didn't mention during the listening of it is the uh, doom, 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 that bass line that was going through it that was fun and uh, and nice throughout. So that was a really cool touch. Uh, the clapping at the end too, I liked that a lot. The whole thing, man, there was a, um, maybe because it was American inspired and that old feel to it, that's like that Sam Cooke type of music that reminds me of old road trips with my mother, like driving from Florida to Texas or whatever. And she put on some uh, Sam Cooke and some Shirley Caesar. That's another one that kind of reminds me of. Maybe this is just like a road trip thing. Cause she uh, sings a little bit like Shirley Caesar, or one of these old time gospel singers. The way that the song was a kind of witty and kind of fun thing where there's love and heartbreak and all that stuff mixed in in kind of a fun way. And the story is really uh, Sam Cooke-like, the writing of this song. So I like it a lot. I hesitate to call it a banger cause it's, it's so old school that I can't say a banger, but it was a really fun song, a good listen and I could see why people knew that I was gonna like this because I really do like it. But I'm not gonna call it a banger. It feels a little bit disrespectful to the song and I don't wanna be like that. But it was a really good song, good listen, and I can see why it's a classic Sweetie song. So kudos to her and the team that made the song. Good stuff. So we're gonna keep this train rolling, as I like to say. Thanks again for suggesting this song. I really appreciate it. And don't forget you can Leave your suggestions in the comments. I'll be reading through them and grabbing some songs to add to this gigantic list of 750,000 songs that I have written down. Shout at me. And uh, keep this thing rolling, man. The next song that I'll be reacting to is a, a duet. I'll be reacting to Nicholas Strömstedt and Anne Lee Rydia. And they have a song called En Man och en Kvinna. You know I love duets. You know I'm kind of a fan of Nicholas Strömstedt. So I think it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications, and all that jazz. And most importantly, spread the word. 
let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden reacting to classic Swedish music. I know some of you feel like uh, some of these songs aren't classics or, or whatever, and some of you feel like uh, you really want me to do that song you've been suggesting for so long, but uh, don't leave it. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.